this is Hannah from Serif. I'm going to show you how to make your photos look retro today using Photo Plus X5. It seems to be quite popular at the moment with various different apps available. I'm going to show you how to achieve it using, uh, using Photo Plus. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is crop this image uh, because a lot of these um, old fashioned photos tend to be more square than anything. So I'm going to crop this around about here. And then I'm going to make a duplicate copy of our background just so that all of our changes are done on a duplicate so that we've always got our original. And I'm going to go up to image, adjust, um, brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to ramp up the contrast um, to about here and OK that. And I want to edit the curves uh, for this image. But I don't want to edit all RGB together. I want to edit them individually, which of course you can do with Photo Plus X5. You just simply click on this drop down box and select red first of all. And what we're going to do with the red is we're going to boost them, make them make it warmer. So we're going to grab the bottom of this line and just push that up there. You can already see that looks, it's got uh, uh, that slight sort of retro look. Uh, go down to the blues and just reduce the mid-tones a little uh, and greens I'm going to increase lightness like so okay great now with some of these photos you tend to get um, a vignette look or a, um, the corners tend to be quite dark so I'm going to do that by hand I'm not going to add a vignette because I want a bit more control over uh, what I'm doing. So I'm going to select the burn tool over here. Um, you can alter the size of your brush um, and the exposure up here, which I'm going to just bring down a little. It's about, yeah, 70 odd. Um, and I'm just going to brush around the corners here just to darken that up slightly. And just a, a slightly at the top, not as much as the bottom. Okay, I'm happy with that. And the final touch is to add um, some texture or some noise. So again, if you go up to effects and noise, add noise. And this will automatically come up at uh, at ten percent. Um, but we can maybe reduce that a little bit to eight because I don't want too much going on. Uh, six. I'm quite happy with that. Okay. So let's have a, l a little look now. We've done that at before and after. So let's remove the curves adjustment, remove the background copy altogether. So there's before, and that's after we've retroed our image. And that's it. It's quite fun to do. Dig out some photos that you've most recently taken and um, retro them up. Only takes a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching.